What's up guys, so you're going to notice that right here, over here, the name of this project is YouTube Tutorial. I'm doing that because today I'm going to show you how to make a simple basketball game in MIT App Inventor. Now what you're going to need for this is a computer slash laptop with the, MIT, with the MIT App Inventor software already installed. And then, this is optional, but you would use a phone. I actually have my phone on me. Um, I'm going to be using it to test out my app as I make it but you can also use the emulator. However, I do suggest using the phone because it works better. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're going to be, need, be needing is you're gonna go down here to drawing and animation. You're gonna get canvas, and then you're gonna get a ball, and you're gonna get an image sprite. Then we're gonna go here. We're going to set, actually we're gonna go here first, we're going to set center and center. Then we're going to go back to the canvas. And we're going to set the height to 90% and the width to 90%. This is going to give us a fairly large area. Then we're going to move the image sprite down right there so that it's kind of in the middle and the ball down to there. We're then going to set the radius of the ball to, you can set it to any size you like. I prefer 15 so that it's not too big, um, but it's still big enough that you can swipe it. <coughs> then you're going to want to go to a new tab and you're gonna want to look up an image of a top, sorry, top down, basket ball court <laughs> all right top down basketball court you're gonna get stuff like this these are great these are what we need we're gonna get I'm gonna go with this one and we're gonna save image background scene basketball court that works just fine And we're going to go here, we're going to get this, we're going to set the background image to upload file. We don't actually need to go there, we can just drag it from here, right there, and let's see if this works. Alright, so you'll notice that it got kind of squished and it's the wrong way. So to fix that, we're going to go and find a different image. And we're going to try to get one that is this way. All right. Same thing as last time. We're going to go set the background image here. Upload file. Drag that there. Bam. Now you've got your court. So then what we're going to do is we're going to get, we're actually going to get rid of this image sprite right here. And we're going to replace it with a ball. Now we're going to set the radius of the ball to, again, 15. We're going to set it right there, right on top of, now I know it's going to look like it's not on top of it, um, on here, but on my phone it's showing that that, or no, that is right on top of it, and that's where we want it, okay? So it even, so you'll have to use the emulator or your phone or whatever it is you're using to see the uh, test of it. You're going to have to use that to kind of help reposition it, okay? So then once we have that positioned, we're going to set origin at center true, and we're going to have to reposition it because I made some mistakes. So I apologize. Um, and then we're going to set the paint color to none. This will make it so that it's essentially invisible. All right, so then we're going to come down here. You're going to get the first ball we made, and you can set the paint color to whatever you want. But to keep it kind of a basketball thing, I like to do an orange. Although that's not a very good orange, so how about we go ahead and make a custom color right here. Alright. There. 
Okay, so that's a nice color. All right, yeah, that looks like a basketball. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to blocks. This is where we're going to do all of the programming for it. We're going to get ball one, and when ball one drags, we're going to get, we're going to go back into ball one, and we're going to get a set ball one speed and a set ball one heading. And what that's going to allow us to do is that's going to allow us to get a current x. <laughs> Actually, that's not what we want. Sorry. I made a mistake. <laughs> We're going to get a ball one flung. Oh, you can actually, you know, throw your basketball. So we'll get a ball one speed. And we need to get the speed from this. Put it there. And then we need to get the... Sorry, I don't know what's going on. Alright, then we need to get the get heading. And put that there. And if you go ahead and test it out on your emulator or phone, you'll see that you're able to fling your ball. But it's going extremely slow unless you're flinging like some kind of psychopath. So what we need to do is we need to get, we need to go to map, get a times block, plug that into there, and go here and get a number block. And you can set it to whatever number you like. I'm going to go with 10 at first to try and make it a little bit faster. Um, and then that's good. But I've noticed that the ball is a little bit small, so I'm going to go here. And I'm going to set the radius to 20, see if that looks a, bit, a little bit better. All right, that's good. Then, once we have all that set up, we're going to go here. We're going to get ball, when ball two collided with other. And we need to, if get other equals, and you can get an equals from either logic or map. I typically use the logic because you can compare anything. Uh, oh, whoops get other equals ball one then we need to get a text box and we're gonna set it I'm gonna set it up here you don't have to but I'm gonna set it there I'm going to do background color none font size I'm gonna set the font size to 30 that way it's nice and big we're going to set the hint to nothing. We're going to set read only, numbers only, text, we'll set it at default to zero, text alignment, center, and of course you can change the color to whatever you want. But if you notice that your court just got pushed down a little bit, now it's kind of hard to see it all. So we're going to resize the court. We're going to change its height to an 80. We'll see if that works. All right, that fixed it for me. You may have to try something else because phone sizes are different. So then if get other equals ball, then set text box one text to text box one text plus one. Yeah, sorry if you guys can hear my family in the background. Um, I can't really, I don't, I can't, I can't soundproof my room. <laughs> But set text box one, text box to one, then go ahead and test it out. And if you did it correctly, you should be able to make it so that when your basketball goes into, well, when it touches the invisible ball, it should give you a point. Now, again, now that I'm testing it, I've noticed that it, the uh, speed is too slow. Well, that's probably why, because I have not been doing it correctly. <laughs> If you notice that error, put it in the comments. All right, so there we go. And then it plays very well. And you're able to, and you could probably even get, um, if you get good at it, and I'm going to actually take the speed down now a little bit, now that I have it set up correctly. And you could even probably get a, uh, a cloud DB. That way you and a friend can both, you know, play against each other, and you can just send the data back and forth. Um, but this is the first tutorial I'll be doing.
Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed. Please like my channel, give me a subscribe, and then put in the comments what kind of tutorial you want to see next. What kind of a game. Alright, bye.